All right, welcome back, everybody. We are on at Dab's Hope, and there's a couple things I was going to go over with you. There's supposed to be a way by going through here and searching for your what you're looking for, but. I don't see it because we're looking for something to symbolize what we're looking for and I don't see anything that changes so I have no idea how you're supposed to how that actually works um, I jumped over to my main account and just looked where I had them labeled at I save them book I bookmark material traders and there's a material trader in this system for data which is what we need so I'm going to fly out here we're at 194 to this location and we'll see how that goes doesn't look like the cat's too far away from there maybe another hundred and something uh, but it's further from uh, we're getting closer by going here first anyways but we need to come here to get the uh, the data swapped out to be able to do our jump drives so six jumps away we are going to head that direction and I'll bring you back when we get close to the trailer or actually I haven't shown you leaving a planet yet uh, where we're looking for I can tell by this it's on the other side of the planet so we're not going to be able to go there in your options menu there is in the controls uh, I think it's under alternate flight controls let me see no it's not that this right here under flight miscellaneous super cruise without having to be targeted on something you need to figure out what button you want to uh, bind it to because this is where it comes in handy is these exact situations so we'll go back into the game and what we're going to need to be is face it about 90 degrees out up this is about where this escape vector will be so once we get out of mass lock I'll hit that button there's our escape vector and now we'll jump into cruise And I don't know why it did this same exact thing last time. It's not let me turn or anything, and it does that till I'm out of the system, uh, out a certain distance out or something. It did the same thing when I left the last planet. I'm not sure what's going on with that, but that will get us out of there. And I wait until I'm above the uh, OC. I'm not sure what that stands for, but when I get there, I know I'll be far enough away to be able to rotate back towards the planet to our next jump point.
and we're out of that so I'll turn around face back this way we are completely clear and we can go into super cruise so I am pretty sure down to earth astronomy goes over every extra key bind you probably want set up on your in your game uh, he's a great channel to look at uh, to watch period I recommend following him I linked him in one of my earlier videos uh, ED tutorials does a lot of good instruction in the game another good person to look at so they go a lot of their stuff goes a lot further in detail and towards what I like to call in-game content they cover the same things I've been showing you on a couple videos uh, and they both have discord channels you can join in uh, I participated with Exegius before in some of his streams I've chatted with uh, down to earth astronomy on a couple different times they are very helpful people so they are definitely people uh, I recommend it. I believe Exegius has a faction. Down to Earth Astronomy runs two. Uh, so if you're looking into getting into groups and doing system control and other things like that, those are some things to look into. But we'll get back on the stream when we get close to the uh, data trader and I'm just holding off because I don't want to change screens and possibly mess up and run into a sun. At worst right now all I will lose is the uh, meta alloy but there is some data that I lose also. So be back in a bit. Okay so coming up on that uh, station now with what I had marked on my other character as a data material trader. Um, there's data raw manufactured and then I had one that was labeled just data uh, just material trader so I'm probably going to go by there after I get everything set up, either on this account or the other one, to figure out which one that is and change it. But this is Ross 490 Duniac is the station. Um, most of my ships don't have the Super Cruise Assist. Uh, they all have the docking assist just because it makes it easy, life easier. You do get places faster if you do not use the super cruise assist. You will go fly faster, but like this one right here, I actually went and got a drink, threw some trash away. A little risky because if you're intercepted what I do is when I'm in super cruise I usually have my throttles down to zero so if I end up wherever I was going I don't run full speed into a station just doesn't seem like a good idea to me so I always have my throttle down so we'll come in here And I'll open up the app. I need a bunch of atypical disrupted wake echoes. Um, I'm going to see if I can get 20 of those. And I'll need strange wake echoes, uh, strange wake solutions. And after we get to that point, I'll switch things around again. 
Uh, strange wake echoes. That's a different one. Okay, that's a different one. All right. Before I get to that point. Uh. I'm going to show you something you can equip on your ship that will do a lot of this for you when it comes to wake echoes. And if you're by a busy station, uh, you can pick them up fairly quickly. Uh, And I think you can put it on utilities. This one right here, the wake scanner. Uh, they all weigh the same. The difference is, is the scanning range. And the power required. So... It, can, it analyzes the frame shift energy wake, and you will get a lot of those readings from that. Not every single time, but that's another way to pick those things up. So, just to let you know. And we go into the cartography. Let's see what I made honking just around 200,000. And that incoming message should be nothing that important. It's going to be, uh, yeah, reputation change. Crew lounge is not what I meant. I meant contacts. Your technology brokers deal in your guardian items. Once you have the items you need to unlock it you can buy them in, at some locations uh, what I will be getting is the Guardian FSD booster uh, it gives you up to a 5 light year increase I believe the max is a 5 10 or I can't remember what level it is not what the distance is I want to say the level 5 is the highest you can get but here's our material trader so we need a typical wake disc echoes is what we want and if we do this one We get 27 of them by taking two of this. We'll do that. There we go. We just got ourselves a whole lot of the stuff we'll need for levels one and two. Three, we need Strange Wake Solutions. Select that one. On this one, we won't get as many. We only get three for two. Um, I'm going to get four of them. And I think that's all I'm going to do for now because I need to get manganese and arsenic to go up to the next level so why pick up and trade out for those I can go and do some more item collections for that stuff so there's the frame shift drives uh, let's take a look and I'll just bring this up right here 
and I'm going to go ahead. It's all on Policity right now. We've got increased range frame shift drives. We've got these three, and that's about a 30% increase in jump. So that would get us over 40 light year jump range. Uh, I can go clean drive, which on this one would probably be good if you're in a combat ship dirty drive if on a mining ship you want dirty drive just because it gives you better strafing and stuff like that I believe is where it comes down to surface scanners I need germanium to go up to 20 percent yep germanium is what I need for these two so we've got everything we need for Felicity's upgrades. And while we're here, let's check Elvira's because we have her listed. Okay, do we want to upgrade shields? Nah, I'm not too worried about that. I think I might open her up and use her for thrusters. So I don't think I'm going to upgrade my thrusters over there at the first engineer just for so I have something I can lock. Uh, she only gives me two levels though. I'm not sure what I'm going to do with uh, this engineer. Let's go ahead and look again at Felicity. She goes up to level three with the thrusters. So it's, I just don't see why I would want to set up Elvira right now. But that's something I can worry about later. So, we're set with this. Our next point of call is... The cat. And as you see, I don't have to fuel because it's a solid line before getting there. So while I head over, I won't concentrate on scooping at stars. I won't worry about my fuel level as much. And that let us go quickly because of those meta alloys where you'd still get jumped. So I'm going to go ahead and head over there and we'll set up. Actually, 34 light years. Yeah, we'll be a little over 40 light years when it's all said and done with Felicity and I'll restart as I'm coming up on Felicity's okay welcome back We're coming up to Farseer now um, all engineers in the bubble that I can think of are planet based I believe I read somewhere that they came up engineers didn't come about until horizons so they're all planet based so needless to say you have to have horizons to be able to use the engineers we'll get 
down here fairly quickly. And I am going to use thrusters to get my rep up with the other one, but at a later t date, because with engineers, you need to get rep up with some engineers to unlock other engineers. Uh, so, therefore, it'll give you a good idea of why you want to open up all your engineers and get them up to, I think, level three or four before they open up other ones. Uh, there is a website about engineers. I'll put it in the uh, description as long as I remember to do it on which one, uh, what the website is, you know, which ones you have to get your rep out on, up on, I should say. So, as you can see, everything's locked on her until you donate that meta alloy. Once you do that, everything else at our facility unlocks. So I think you can get fuel and repair here without do unlocking that, but I'm not 100%. So we'll go ahead, go there, select it, increase FSD range. We're gonna generate it. Yep. As your rep goes higher, these kind of things usually don't take as much. Uh, I want to say it's like two or three times when your rep goes up for you to get past level one. So it takes a lot less materials to get it done. But no big deal. Main thing, one of the main things we're actually working on is getting the rep up with her. And one more, and then we can get three, and we'll be able to get. She'll be up in, at level four, and that incoming message is probably for telling us about another engineer. Okay. We're up to four now, but I don't have the materials for that. But that's okay. Experimentals. Double braced. Helps you with survivability. Mass manager. It increases by another 4% on that one. Deep charge increases the amount of fuel you can use per jump, allowing you larger, longer jumps, but it takes more fuel. So, you know, all of these things, I don't know which are the best. I think on a couple of mine I've got mass manager on them but there's some other people that have a lot better information on that stuff uh, so we've got that stuff we're going to back up and hit sensors nope I'm sorry surface scanners for the probe radius.
And that's going to be that because we don't have the materials again. That's got her up to four. I'm not going to worry about the engines. Power plants. This is what you can do by to put a lower level power plant into your ship to lighten your ship overcharge it and you could get right back up to what you need but before I do anything else I want to pin this blueprint this blueprint now that it's pinned at any station I can get this I just will not build up her rep anymore so, until I have her at five, I might, I might not. All depends on what's going on. Uh, did I do this? Nope. And that's just from honking the systems. So, a little bit more credits. Uh, that's going to be it with her. Uh, we are now up to 46 light years, almost 46 and a half with those upgrades. So as you can plainly see, actually, let's take a look. Is this FSD... Go one more and look at that again. Yep, it mattered. So we're over 46 and a half light years possible jumps. So that's why we do all that extra work. It it really helps. And now you can jump around the bubble a lot easier. You'll lower the amount of jumps you need for everything. And what she opened up for us was Jury Ishmak. That one is Mines and Missiles and Scanners. So we have to do 50 or more combat bonds on those uh, for the feds. So that's how you can get that one opened up. The blaster. I need six more bounties to get that one opened up. Um, Liz Ryder. Here's the Erubia Blue Mafia. This is the one I was talking about where you need this rep. So, basically, very shortly, I'm going to go and do a bunch more exploration. I'll look up what system they control and I'll sell that data for uh to that what that station and that will get me the rep i need for them uh even though she doesn't really do anything for me because i don't use missiles and mines and let's see if she does anything else She does some ar a light, a very little bit of armor, not very high up. It's just level one. Hull reinforcement of level one. So yeah, missiles and mines. That's all she can do for you. But once again, I don't know if she unlocks somebody else. That's a very strong possibility, so you might need her just to... 
open up a different engineer. Uh, this one is one that I need to open up. I like pulse lasers. And power distribution, distributor upgrades are always nice also. But that's what we got for engineers so far. We can see what all comes up next. I am going to in this video here I'm not sure what I'm going to be covering next so leave a comment on what you might like to see next I'll try to get those uh, that link on this web for the websites on this recording so it was the website for the engineer lineup you have a good day Thank you.